Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G and I'm Funkin' Hungry. In this video, we're gonna try Rhino Cafe. So it's a local cafe in the area. It's a place that I've been watching for a while that I've wanted to try out. So I follow quite a lot of restaurants or cafes on Instagram, just to remember to give them a review. And also I like to support local business. So this place looks like it has some awesome food. They do breakfast items, you know, like a big breakfast with bacon and eggs and that sort of stuff, which I actually did wanna try, but it's just a little bit hard with my setup at the moment moment to do sort of food on plates just to show you a little bit more of what I'm eating but also they do lunches they do salads they do burgers they do hot dogs they do all sorts of stuff it all looks really nice but I just grabbed the rhino burger because obviously it has rhino in the name you've got to give that a try they do other burgers that look nice like a chicken burger they did an American style cheeseburger but basically I thought I'd grab the rhino burger and give that a try so it cost about $25 for this meal. It cost also $5 to get the Uber Eats delivery. So that's about the going rate these days for a burger from a burger joint or a cafe or something like that. So I was expecting to pay about that much, but we'll give it a taste and we'll give it a rating and a review. Okay, so here's Rhino's Cafe Rhino Burger. It actually looks pretty damn good. Look how big this burger is. It's actually really big and heavy as well. I'm super impressed by that. So unfortunately, it's a little bit warm or on the cold side. I don't know what's with Uber lately. They're just terrible at delivering. I saw that the driver went to another place before they delivered. I mean, don't they get paid enough in delivery? Instead of grabbing this and wanting to get as much money as they can. So there they are going off on an adventure just to come back and give you warm food. But I can't blame Rhino's Cafe for that. So that's the rant over. You get this awesome looking big burger. You get a nice portion of chips. And also they gave me a tomato sauce. I mean, $25 isn't too bad for this. It's a really big burger. A nice amount of chips. We'll try the chips first. These look really nice. They look well seasoned. Cheers. So that's a nice chip. Well seasoned. They taste nice and clean. Like the oil is an old. Tastes really good. Now I do like my tomato sauce, so I'll throw some of this on. Master Food does some nice sauces, so it adds a nice vinegary tomato flavor to the chips. Mm. If I was sitting in the cafe and I ate them, you know, they'd be a lot more fresh or a lot more hot, which would have been perfect. Let's take a look at this burger. Look how big this burger is, it's just falling apart. The bun's big, but it's having trouble holding all of this stuff in. Like, look at that. So this burger, I'll leave the ingredients on screen for you, just in case I get it wrong. But this has a beef patty, which looks amazing, looks nice and charred. Tomato, you have your lettuce. You have bacon and you have cheese, American cheese, and then you have the rhino sauce, I believe. Rhino sauce or the house sauce looks like your typical burger sauce, which is basically kind of like a Big Mac where it's creamy, but it has gherkins inside or pickles. So this looks really nice. I'm super keen to try this. I've been wanting to try Rhino's Cafe for a while. And look how big this burger is. It's basically the size of my face. All right, let's give this a try, guys. Cheers. And how could I forget? One reason I wanted this burger is because they have caramelized onions and I love caramelized onions and burger. It gives it this nice sweet flavor. Just the onions are so nice. I don't mind raw onions, but cooked onions are so much better. Caramelized onions and burgers are so nice. Fortunately, it's a little bit soggy from the salad, but again, if I was sitting in a cafe and I ordered this, I'd be super impressed because it'd be fresh. It wouldn't be sort of warm and stuff. I'm gonna try some of the beef by itself. It just pulls apart so nicely, just nice and crumbly, really well cooked inside, not overcooked. Has a bit of a char around it. Mmm. 
really keen to try that cheeseburger now. Now I know the quality of the beef and how big the burgers are and the quality of the cheese on top. Gonna go so well with some pickles just to add that nice sour hit to it. But absolutely delicious. Look how thick this patty is as well. Really good quality, really nice, nice big portions. Mmm. It has that nice charred smoky flavor to it. Absolutely loving it. Some people say, oh, how expensive $25 is for burger and chips these days. But look how big this burger is. Nice amount of chips. I really like that burger. It kind of reminds me of fish and chip shop, chicken chop burgers. Because of the quality of that beef, it kind of reminds me of some of these local burger chains that are popping up. These sort of gourmet burger restaurants, if you will. It's really good quality. And at first I was kind of worried about the price. I'm like, oh, you know, I've seen their food. It looks really good. But I thought, oh, a basically a cafe. Are they are their burgers going to be sort of, you know, worth the price? Good as some of these other burger joints that I've reviewed on the channel. To be honest, it's definitely up there with them. That's really well cooked. Really big. Really nice portion. So yeah, I'm super impressed to be honest. The burger is absolutely funkin' delicious. Nice soft bun. The beef has this nice charred flavor. The American cheese adds some creaminess to it. The caramelized onions add some sweetness. The sauce is really nice. I would have liked a little bit more sauce just to add some creaminess and a little bit of that sort of sour vinegar hit from the gherkin inside. The bacon is really nice, adds some nice texture to the burger. To be honest, the salad is a little bit soggy, so next time I just order no salad, just because the trip from the cafe to my house obviously took a little longer than normal, and I just go no salad just to be safe. Or unless I was in the cafe sitting there, I'd happily get the salad. A lot of times salad at these places seem to come a little bit soggy. But overall, absolutely fantastic burger. My rating for Rhino's Cafe, Rhino Burger, I'm going to have to give that a 9.5 out of 10. That is a huge, decent burger. It is a little bit warm. It is a little bit soggy. But to me, that's not Rhino's Cafe's fault. That's Uber Eats' fault. It's only around the corner. So if he didn't go on his little adventure, going off on his merry way, you know, driving around, who knows what he's doing, this would have came hot and fresh and nice. Or if I sat in a cafe and ordered this, it'd be nice, fresh, piping hot on the plate. And yeah, I wouldn't have nothing to complain about. But if you're in Adelaide and you have tried Rhino's Cafe, let me know what you ordered. Let me know what you think of Rhino's Cafe. The portion was nice and big, super impressed, and that burger is absolutely delicious. And a nice big burger, nice size. So I'm super impressed. So cheers Rhino's Cafe. I'm really impressed with this and I'll definitely be back. You've got a customer here. Also, if you're in Adelaide and you haven't tried Rhino's Cafe, definitely recommend, definitely give them a try. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please like, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. This was G from Funkin' Hungry and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.